Um, recap. Last week was a week of updates. Um, the rain generator that I use for things like this uh, had an update. I haven't really noticed any of the new things besides it's more streamlined, but that's because most of my messing around was in Blender proper because I learned that Blender had an update 3.5, baby. Um, so I spent a bunch of time sort of acquainting myself with those changes, which I don't know. There's not a lot, but they're big changes. Uh, mostly to the hair systems for me and how I use it. Uh, I had started another Breath of the Wild scene, but this time Goron themed. Uh, <laughs> except I got distracted and got a chuckle out of it. I still plan to light and maybe add some ember effects to this scene. And... Uh, hopefully that'll get pushed out next week. Or this week? I don't know how to refer to things during a recap. Then, somewhere between Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, I started to look ahead uh, to the next scene that I can see animated. But one subject doesn't have a rig yet, so there's no movement or way to sort of puppeteer it yet. So, that brings us to story time! Uh, this led me to play around with AccuRig, a bit of software that aids in the rigging process. Now, I'm up to five different methods of adding armature to an object. And I hate it. <laughs> but it's good to have options, and some are better than others, uh, depending on if the destination is Unity or Unreal Engine, or if I'm just animating it. So, While AccuRig makes a lot of things easier, I found that it struggles with weird hands, so I went back to Blender and a plugin that I have living there. GameRig Tools! It's not fast, but it lets me be more specific, and more importantly, the end result comes with a version that matches the Unreal Engine format. When coupled with another plugin, the work here ports directly into Unreal Engine. And see, this is a good example of how I get distracted. Started seeking a way to rig a character, re revisited an old method I know works, and then spend a day learning of and playing with an import-export feature tied to that old method, forgetting Blender was ever open as I delve into Unreal Engine, learning how to fix ankles so something I brought in moves just like the Unreal defaults do. And why? <laughs> well, I do ramble about how stuff I do could end up in Unity or Unreal Engine for further efforts or cleanup for, you know, just a little previs thing. But I never seem to get that far. Well, here it is. Uh, we got there this week. That's about it. Have a good week and thanks for checking in. Later.